What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is Kevin with Optimized Essentials, and today I'm gonna share with you 10 ways to boost your testosterone. So if you're a guy and you're wanting this magical hormone that will increase your muscle mass or deepen your voice. I'm taking a pod. <clears throat> No, you're not. That scene, I was laughing so hard, but testosterone doesn't always make your voice deeper, but I knew that when I was creating this video, there's gonna be an inclination to portray manliness. You will not be taking our pod today, sir. But it's not exactly that. These 10 activities that I'm sharing with you today, um, I notice when I'm doing all these 10, my testosterone levels are through the roof and the behaviors that I experience personally myself when I do these 10 activities is a sharper mind, uh, more aggressive behavior. My behavior is more masculine in some ways, right? Now you can go down the rabbit hole of what's masculine behavior, but I'm pretty sure there are some universal principles behind what masculinity exemplifies, but I'm not gonna go into that today because this video is about 10 ways to boost your testosterone, not what masculinity is. But I encourage you, nevertheless, to do some research on these 10 activities that I'm gonna share with you. I've done research on them, but they're not extensive enough where it's I can exactly pinpoint you, pinpoint to you, this is how much it increases my testosterone by. I just know, based on from one to 10, I, I rank them in order just so you know, um, when I do these, 10 things, they boost my testosterone the highest. And I know my testosterone high is high based on how I'm feeling, how I'm behaving, right? And you should be able to distinguish or differentiate between high, high levels of testosterone for yourself and low levels of testosterone, all right? So let's get right into it. How to boost your testosterone, guaranteed, no gimmicks, none of that, uh, none of these tricks. I mean, I'm gonna have two tricks where you can instantly boost your testosterone, but most of these are gonna be kind of like a lifestyle shift and change or kind of implementation so that you support your body in its natural process of having the most optimal levels of testosterone, all right? So the very first one that as a man, if you're not a female watching this, um, as a man you should know is weights, all right? If you wanna boost your testosterone, one of the best ways to go about it is to lift some heavy ass weights. Now. It's kind of dangerous if you have poor form or bad posture. That's why I made a ton of videos on lifting weights with good posture. It's because you don't wanna sacrifice your body or put yourself at risk just so you can pump up your testosterone, right? That's a stupid idea. What you wanna do is strategically lift, what I should say instead of heavy lift, right? Because you can spike your hormonal response, right? Your hormone production by doing compound lifts hitting multiple muscle groups and going at a decent amount of weight as opposed to lifting super heavy weights. But at least for me in the past, I've noticed my testosterone levels, uh, my growth hormone, just the overall way how I feel, my aggressiveness, my assertiveness, my masculinity, that's the highest when I'm lifting some heavy ass weights. And it'll, it'll also be spiked when I'm lifting uh, multiple muscle groups or doing multiple muscle groups, like an upper body, upper body uh, workout day. And uh, yeah, that, that, that is the for sure guaranteed gonna spike those levels, all right? And then the second thing is ingesting high quality fats, all right? Now, I cannot stress this enough. A lot of people are afraid of eating fats. Um, yes, you should be afraid if you're eating a bunch of like trans fats, hydrogenated fats, right? Processed fats, the stuff that's nasty, right? The, the fake inflammatory oils that they put in packaged foods that stuff is garbage. Throw it out. If anything, it's gonna lower your testosterone because if you eat that stuff, it's gonna make you fat, it's gonna inflame your organs, and when you inflame your organs, there is a study that shows um, that it decreases your testosterone, so you do not want that. Higher levels of testosterone is equated with lean muscle mass. You're more lean, you have less body fat, so you wanna eat foods that support testosterone growth, all right? And I'm gonna be sharing that with you today. So, grass-fed, Beef, all right, grass-fed beef or any type of high-quality meat, all right, anything that's been roaming around, anything that's been kind of living its natural life and it's not being confined to cages, confined to really small farms and just uh, inhumane practices. Any type of meat or food that's gone through kind of inhumane practice or not 
been treated well is going to have a distinctly very like diminished level of nutritional quality all right so you want fats high quality fats like mono uh, monosaturated polyunsaturated um higher high quality ones right like th these ones are available in um i think those brazil nuts uh hawaiian it wasn't hawaiian nuts what are the what are the maui nuts they'll come to me later i had some the other day but basically the the it wasn't hazelnuts but the basically the nuts from hawaii all right it's gonna come to me but eating those type of nuts eating grass-fed beef pasture-raised meat organ getting your essential fatty acids all of these are going to help your hormonal profile because your body needs the these types of fats to produce testosterone to produce growth hormone to produce certain hormones in your body to kind of allow that process of becoming more of yourself right you need high quality nutrients to grow more right and that leads me to my second my third one about high quality vegetables you need to have the vitamins and minerals on board to support the process of hormonal production right you need a stimulus weights and then you need to have resources that will help optimize that process of producing the most or highest amount of hormones. And then number four, which I can't exactly say for sure, but through the research that I've been looking into, is vitamin D, right? Getting your sunlight. Now, in my opinion, from what I've learned, vitamin D is just essential overall for cellular, cellular function. And when you're not getting enough vitamin D, you might have musculoskeletal issues because your bone needs calcium and calcium needs to work with vitamin D and minerals or vitamins like k2 to kind of really optimize your state so all these things work in conjunction to allow your body to produce the most optimal levels of hormones so it's not one of these in particular it's all of these in conjunction all right and then the next thing you want to do after you've gotten all the nu nutrients on board your high quality fats your high quality vegetables um, so high quality vegetables i didn't really go into in detail but basically, you want to eat the rainbow, as many different colors as you want. You don't want to overcook your food. You want to make sure it's organic so it doesn't have a lot of pesticides. You want to make sure it's vibrant in color. They're as nutrient-dense as possible and not romaine lettuce. You want some solid stuff, right? Once you have all those uh, nutrients or the resources in, in stock, now you want to get into uh, the kind of ways to boost it, right? Some strategies to boost it even more. And the, the, the very first thing that people are missing is sleep, all right? Sleep, your hormones, the, your hormones, the most of your hormones are produced during deep sleep, all right? If you're not getting enough sleep, studies have shown that it decreases your hormone because your body isn't in its efficient state to help ramp up hormonal production. So if you don't sleep, you're gonna get stressed, and when you're stressed, cortisol is gonna diminish your testosterone, all right? And then after you get these essential parts down, right, the stimulus, the resources, and the state where your body can produce it, now that's how to hack that state even more. So what I have listed down is no fat, guys. No fat. Stop masturbating. Stop masturbating. Because when you, when you stop masturbating, that energy builds up. That energy is, in a, in a sense, testosterone expressing itself. It's your... It's your manly chemicals that want to project itself onto people, onto things, and reproduce. But when you just release your manly chemicals, you don't have, you're depleted, and you don't feel as masculine, which is why there were certain fighters that say they don't jack off or they don't masturbate when they're going to have a fight because it builds up their, their sexual tension, their aggressiveness their behavior so that they're more dominant inside of the cage or the boxing ring, whatever it is, right? And um, I personally have a lot of experience with this because I, I went one year, over a year, I think it was like 13 months and like eight days, I remember the exact time and when I stopped, I wrote it down. But I did it for one year and guys, it's, it's, it's weird, no fat works in cycles, all right? The first week or two when you get off of, when you stop masturbating, your testosterone level goes through the roof. Your, your, sexual, your sexual drive, your sex drive, your libido, it is like super high. But once it levels off, 
um, you begin to transmute that energy in different ways. So I'm probably going to create a video on that, uh, sexual transmutation and NoFap, because yeah, that's something I really want to speak about. But you combine NoFap with number six, females, right? You need to surround yourself with a lot of girls. And uh, not just random girls, you want to surround yourself with very attractive girls because I don't know the exact science behind it, but I did look it up just in case or just because um, I, I did find some research on it that it does increase testosterone levels, but I can feel it myself. I don't need a, I don't need research to convince me because I can feel it. I know when my testosterone levels are high and they're high when I'm around very beautiful girls, all right? Or when a very beautiful girl shows up like at a gym or something, I can feel my biology. It's, it's, it's like it's on high gear, right? It's going haywire. Like I can feel it. So surround yourself with females and do not jack off. And your Jesus, your testosterone levels, your sex drive, your sexual attractiveness just goes through the roof, guys. And it's, it's amazing. So those are the little hacks you can do. Um, the other ones that you can try and experiment with is cold showers. Cold showers definitely, um, some people say it doesn't, some people say it does. I believe it does to an extent. It's kind of like nutrition. It kind of supplements and feeds into how well your body is working. And as a result, your body produces more testosterone. Not exactly because you take a cold shower, but the cold shower promotes certain processes inside of your body that also correlates or relate or uh, causes testosterone to, produ to be produced, if that makes sense. I do know cold showers help you last longer in bed, so before you have sex, take a cold shower. I'm, I'm serious, like take a really cold shower for like five to 10 minutes and then tell me how you perform. Uh, you could go like literally an hour to two hours if you take a cold shower. And then, the next two things are little quick tricks that you can try right off the bat. Um, and it is the power stance that I think it was called Amy Cuddy, where it's you stand in a dominant position, a power pose, you know, you're holding your stance, wide, wide stance, you're having your feet splayed out, you're having your hands, your hands uh, on your waist, and you're just standing here, right? You're standing in this, uh, you know, alpha position, so to say, and you stand there for about two minutes and then your testosterone will raise by 20 to 30%. And then another thing you can try is growling. When you're growling, you actually gotta feel into it, okay? You gotta feel your, your genitals, basically. Use your balls, your organs down there, and then try to project your voice into that area and growl, all right? So what you're doing is you're mimicking a very primal aspect of yourself and when you squint your eyes and you're like trying to kill the prey and you're trying to uh, like killer instinct mode. Are you mocking me? Are you mocking me? Stop it, you just didn't do it again. He's trying to cop me. Just... That's gonna stimulate, you know, hormone production. I'm, I'm sure of it because you can try it right now, right? Just don't, if you have people around, just do it mentally. Just squint your eyes and just, uh, Breathe into your balls, like Elliot was host would say, right? Just feel your genitals and just just growl. <sighs> and just like really get into it. And then you'll notice that your mood changes. So those are the 10 ways that will boost your testosterone guaranteed. Uh, it was kind of all over the place, but who cares? I need to get this video done. Uh, <laughs> because if I don't, I'm just gonna keep pushing it off. But yes, here are the 10 things that I wanted to share with you today on how to boost your testosterone. Let's do a quick recap. The first things is the stimulus, right? You need something to spark that process of boosting your testosterone. That's heavy weights, compound weights, hitting multiple muscle groups where you're stimulating uh, your body's hormonal response so that you can ramp up protein synthesis and had growth hormone and all that good stuff. And you need to supplement that process. You need to give your body, you need to prime your body, put it in a state where it can optimize its hormonal production. And you do that by ingesting high quality fats, high quality meats, high quality organ meats, all right? Organs like uh, liver, uh, maybe even a kidney, brains, whatever basically that is within an animal, all right? These essential fatty acids 
are going to work with your body to produce highest the highest levels of hormones possible. And then the the next thing is high quality vegetables because you need the vitamins and minerals. Uh, there's I think it was zinc too, right? That allows your body to uh, produce uh, testosterone better. But you basically need vitamins and minerals to optimize that production state. Vitamin D is part of that process. No fat where you stop touching yourself and use that energy to attract beautiful girls, which is number six. Surround yourself with a lot of beautiful girls who want you because then your testosterone is even higher. And then sleep is definitely the most important part because if you do all this but you're not sleeping, your testosterone is gonna plummet. Cold shower, power stances, and growling, all these ways are going to supercharge your testosterone levels. And don't take my word for it, experiment with yourself. And that is all for today, guys. Have a good one. It is Kevin with Optimize Essentials. Stay tuned for more. Peace.